Hey everyone. Today, Raven and I are gonna go for a hike and I just wanted to go over a quick review of certain things I bring when I'm hiking with her. So one thing I definitely recommend bringing is this paw protection because you don't really know um, everything on the ground that your dog can encounter and it's just overall good protection for their paws. Make sure that you always have water to hydrate your animal. And I like these packs that actually can, um, they roll up and they can actually even clip to something. So they're really compact, but a nice water bowl for your dog when it's ready for some water. You wanna make sure they have a fresh um, drinking water source and not them be drinking from open waters, lakes, ponds, rivers, etc. It never hurts to have a handy dandy cleaner, especially um, I have this Ray Allen belt that I'll hook my leash to. Um, the leash I use is actually the Pycos leash, which has a beaner on it anyways, and a nice little swivel here. So that's super helpful when navigating through stuff. This other beaner could be used for anything. I'll say I don't have my backpack with me and I want to put my safety kit to the beaner, to the belt, it could work for that. Something I just mentioned is if I don't have my backpack, so you can also put your dog to work and have them have the backpack on and carry their own stuff. So this is my safety kit and I'll just go through some of the quick things I keep in here. Some Q-tips, some cord because you never know when you're gonna need it, some bandaging tape, other bandaging tape, antiseptic wipes, um, in case you need to clean a wound or something like that. I bought this kit and then I added to it myself. So on this side there's gauze. I recommend this EMT stuff. You can see that in another video. Oh, well, this works for animal care wounds, animal wounds and caring for them. <laughs> on this side, I also have some stuff that I've added. So this is called Bleed Stop. It's really good if you want to stop any bleeding. I also have Benadryl in case your dog gets bit by something or you notice them getting swelled up. It's always a good idea to keep that on hand with you. And to know ahead of time your animal's weight and the ratio, their weight ratio to how much you should actually give them. All good things to know ahead of time and something I would recommend keeping in here is your dog's information. 